Paris. But do you think, given its findings, that Zephyrin should resign? Wow. <coughs> no. Uh, I, I'm not sure who, who made the decision, to be honest, but it, it, so I'm, I'm, I'm boss as well of some people and a lot of, a lot of things. I, I'm, I'm not 100% in the subject, so I get information from different people and it's like, okay, 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 and then you make a decision. So the better the information are you get, the better the decisions are. And don't talk about football or stuff like this. We had this subject, we discussed it another day. So there are other, other stuff around, which I'm still the boss of. So I don't think that Mr. Severin had to, uh, made a dis maybe made a decision, but somebody put all the papers together, all what is the best place, what is that. I, I can't see him going, fl flying to Paris, flying to wherever, other Rome or Berlin, and oh, it's not that good. The other people who, have, who bring that together. Um, maybe one of them should have a think if he's not uh, if he's not uh, there's not a better place for him in another job I don't know but I think really Paris was the worst possible available in that specific area for that day so in the short term not a stadium who's used to it every 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 week every two weeks like a lot of big stadiums stadium in Europe are big cities in Europe where you have that well they play every two weeks or much more used to go if you go to for different reasons, you could have gone to Wembley, obviously. I don't know when it was last time, maybe that doesn't work then, but it was a spe special situation. You could have gone to Berlin. Um, a British, okay, Madrid is in a rebuild, so, but other places are, were, were probably available. So were, and I really think this was, from the first moment, I thought it's not a, it's not a good idea, but in the end, um, this specific place could have been organized much better as well than it was. So people, so in a moment, UEFA makes a decision, I think they make it because I think it's right, of course. Um, what other reason could it be? Um, and then some people who, who, did, who worked there should have done better, because everybody who was there that knows that the people who worked there were not, yeah, didn't know 100% what exactly they are doing. So they were not used for these big crowds. So and that's, you cannot work with volunteers on a day like this when, when so many people arrive there. Um, volunteers for the first time or the second time or whatever that doesn't work you need experienced people and then it can be a great day but this day obviously it was different Yeah, I think, but uh, we have to sh we have to sh to show that. Yeah, but it's it was incredibly difficult last year. It was always incredibly difficult. Now, if you would now tell me the I don't know exactly which game it was, but if we go through the games, then I'm pretty sure we won some of them late. We were always brilliant. We forced luck here and there, and then we had other games where we were really flying and early lead and these kind of things, different moments. So we didn't have these kind of situations really often. Big part of the season, it would be said here, and you always ask me yeah, again, one nil down. No, I don't, that's oof. oh, we, we, so we kept that for a pretty long time. Um, then it took long until we got a lead, and then we have a lead, and then you get the equalizer, all these kind of things. So these kind of all things can happen. You need to be stable to go through this. That's the difference in this moment. I felt for me from the games we won against Aston Villa or whatever uh, after the World Cup uh, to this game against Everton. This was us. So the intensity was there. Um, yes, the goals were counter attacks, but that when you're as dominant as we are, but with all the with all the bad things we did this season, we still have the second most shots on target, I think, at least until last week we had that. We still have the second highest possession, all these kind of things. So it's like okay, we just should hit the target in the end. That would be or, or score from it, that would be really great. But of course, in the end, so counter attacking goals I pretty much can't remember. You counter attack does not mean you defend deep all the time, and now you have the chance to counter attack. Yeah, we don't have that situation that often, but there are situations like after set pieces where you can react quick. But for different things you need for it, the awareness and the runs and all these kind of things, and of course precision with the passes. So, um, yeah, the intensity I love the most of the game, and not how much we were running, more how intense we were in these moments, because that creates the rhythm for us. And yeah, now we have 
games all three days, but that's we shabby. We work now long enough again um, on <sighs> endurance and everything. So we should be we should be ready. We hopefully can make changes from um, tomorrow on and stuff like this. People coming back and stay fit. Hopefully, in that moment you could it could happen, but we don't think it will happen. Just we know so tomorrow is Newcastle, nothing else. So um, and that's um, already difficult enough. But it must be difficult, much more difficult for Newcastle as well than it was for all the other teams we visited or cities we visited in, in, in previous times. Yeah, you mentioned the intensity. Um, the, the, the world, the, some of the players who've been to the World Cup on, on Monday night look sharper. And watching Man City this week, some of the, their World Cup players have looked a lot sharper since um, since coming back from Qatar. Do you think people have really appreciated how much of a toll it took on them, and it's taken longer for the players to recover to get to the level? Look, there were no obvious. There were no obvious um, signs. It's not that we, we saw numbers and thought, "Oh my God, that looks completely different." But it's you. We all know the performance you put on the pitch is is, is uh, um, it's related to different things. It's your physical, it's your mental, like um, state. Whatever you are, you're ready to go or or sick of something that makes a massive, massive difference. How we all know. Um, it was massively influential. It was always clear that it will be massively influential, the World Cup and stuff like this. But some deal better with it and some deal less good with it. But some trained more, some played less, all these kind of things. There's no general thing. The only thing what was for all of them, they were pretty much especially for the guys who were long there, it was really, really long since the start of the season. And for us, the end of the season which was the latest possible. Then go go again. This is a long, long, long year with for some players so far I think a two and a half week break. So in since May uh, no uh, July twenty twenty one. Yeah. So uh, that's really long. So and of course they had now they, they all had now so Birch played played exactly these amount of games. Now he was out for a while. Ibu <coughs> Didn't play the amount of games, but played as well the World Cup. Was not always playing, but always in training. So had this break. So the, the, the body takes takes it. So you, you, we, we can we cannot we cannot be prepared for things we never experienced before. So um, I just hope it will never happen again that you play World Cup in the middle of the season. So, but it's not it's the, it's not to blame for our situation. We, we talk more about the general situation of footballers, and I said it now. Thousands of times that we have to make sure that these kind of things don't will not happen again. We cannot; it's our, not our problem in the moment, but we cannot bring in more games. Really, that's just. And we did it this time again, and yes, football players are massively influenced by um, the intensity of, of the schedule. That's clear. This last one. Yeah. Yeah. Is the, is the feeling similar now as you could get into the top four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would be cool. But it's, it's a long way. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.